Why is it important to have a fully charged car battery, and why should you do so? Initially, the car battery makes sure the engine can start and rotate. The battery provides the voltage required to turn on the starter when you insert your key into the ignition. Furthermore, automobile batteries supply voltage to the engine during operation and power your essential accessories. You couldn't have headlights, a car radio, or any other electronic equipment in your car without an automobile battery. In this short video, we review the steps you need to take to charge a car battery and discuss what to do if it won't hold a charge. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Turn everything off. Turning off everything in the car is essential before you begin. This covers the lights inside and out as well as the electrical components. The battery may discharge while charging if you leave these things on. In order to avoid damaging any electrical components, certain car models also demand that the battery terminals be removed before battery charging. To be sure, consult your car's repair manual for that particular model. Use a voltmeter to test your battery if necessary. To obtain a reading, touch the prongs to the corresponding battery terminals. 12.4 to 12.7 volts says that your 12-volt car battery is charged. Low voltage is defined as anything less than 12 volts, which means your battery might not be able to start the engine. Clean battery terminals. Find the battery terminals that are positive and negative. Remove the plastic cover from the positive terminal and use a wire brush to remove any accumulated corrosion. If the corrosion cannot be removed with the brush, you might want to try a baking soda paste. You can make sure that the charger establishes a strong connection by cleaning the battery. Set charge rate. Before connecting your charger to the battery, make sure the charge rate is set. You might not have these options if your battery charger is very basic. The charge rate typically falls between 2 and 10 amps. You should charge your battery on the lowest setting for the majority of the time. You can make sure the battery lasts a long time by charging it slowly. It also prevents the battery from being overcharged. Use of the fast charge setting should only be done when the battery is urgently needed. Although this will enable you to resume driving promptly, it will drastically shorten the battery's lifespan. Connect your charger. Place your battery charger in a visible and safe spot close to you. Attach the red cable containing clamp to the battery's positive terminal. Verify that it is attached and won't fall off. The black cable and the negative battery terminal will then require the same action from you. You can turn it on after connecting the charger. Charge and test. Until the battery is fully charged, leave the battery charger connected. This can occasionally take several hours. Think about leaving the battery charger on all night. Remove the clips in the opposite order that you inserted them after the battery has been charged. After replacing the terminal's cap, try starting your car. You won't have to be concerned about the battery if everything functions properly. On the other hand, you might require a replacement if the battery is dead. Slow charge versus fast charge, which is better? Slow charging is the best method for charging an automobile battery because it preserves the battery's integrity. An automobile battery can be harmed by overcharging. Therefore, if you're not in a rush, it's best to always charge at lower amps for a longer duration of time. How long to charge a car battery? Many factors influence how long it will take to charge a battery. It will first depend on the kind of charger you are utilizing. Additionally, it is dependent on how dead the battery is. A car battery may require several hours or even several days to fully charge. It is feasible to use a partially charged battery, but there is a possibility that you will become stranded and have to wait for a jump start. Should you require a jump start, remember to leave the engine running once you've done so. Before turning it off, it's advisable to go for a drive and allow the alternator to charge the battery fully. After a jump start, you run the risk of getting stranded again if you turn off the engine too soon. If the battery runs entirely flat, the jump start mechanism might not function. You will observe that nothing happens even if you leave it connected to a vehicle charger. What to do if a car battery won't hold a charge? If your current battery isn't holding a charge, you'll need to purchase a new one. Try a new battery first before having it towed to your neighborhood car repair shop. If you continue to have issues even after changing the battery, it's possible that something else is causing them. Many people replace their car batteries only to discover later that the alternator is broken, which prevents the battery from charging. Hope the information was helpful to you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. 